just had a chance to see the best reason for using a scanner. It is a fantastic way of, of preserving memories. You know, memories that can be found in your grandma's or your mother's old scrapbook. They can be the newspaper articles, they could be photographs or other types of memorabilia. You know, and whereas newspaper articles and photographs, you know, fade with time, by using a scanner, we can preserve those those memories forever. A fantastic tool. Now in today's lesson, I'll demonstrate to you how to use our HP scanner. You know, it, uh, it's really quite simple. Uh, first you need to do is you need to log on to this computer and no, it doesn't matter if you're logged on to a different machine or not. Everything that you scan today for your scanner assignment will be saved into your network files. It will not be saved on this computer. Okay? Next, you're going to take your newspaper article or photograph. I have one of each. And you're going to place them face down. on the scanner. Now we have them face down on the scanner. It's important that uh, you keep these pictures and articles straight. The better you can put them on the scanner, the, the, easier, it is, uh, the easier it is when the pictures come out. You don't have to do a lot of photo editing to get those pictures straight. Alright, close the top. And with the HP, all it is is uh, one touch, there's a little scanner picture here. I'm not sure you can see it very well on the, uh, the camera, but the little icon of a scanner, it's just a one touch, one touch button. Just press it one time. And you'll notice on the monitor, we have the uh, ScanJet wizard that pops up for you. You have two options. You, you wanna make sure you select the, when it makes sense, the uh, scanner option, and just click OK. All right, welcome to the scanner wizard pops up. Click Next. All right, now you have some uh, preferences. If you want to keep things in uh, uh, grayscale, you can, or in black and white, you can select that. Or there are some custom settings also. Uh, for the purposes of our class, the default is colored picture, and uh, we'll keep it as colored picture. All you have to do next is hit Preview. Okay, uh, the preview window appears with the pictures that you're scanning. Okay, you're going to see a uh, dotted black line surrounding your pictures. Uh, this is the point uh, where you will scan each picture individually. You know, now with your mouse, go ahead and click on the corners and drag the, those lines so where it surrounds the picture that you would like to scan first. You know, basically, this is the point where you're going to crop the picture. Uh, remember, you're scanning, you know, just one picture at a time. Okay, once you've selected where you want it, go ahead and click Next. Okay, I've got the picture perfectly centered. I want to go ahead and hit Next. All right. Okay, now we want to uh, name our pictures and uh, save it in a folder where we can retrieve it later. Uh, from top to bottom, go ahead and type in the name of uh, the group for these pictures. You know, for instance, this is a computer class. Uh, you could name it your history class or, you know, even uh, your master class pictures. All right. Uh, next, working our way down, we're going to click the uh, select a file type. We're going to stay with uh, the JPEG format. And number three, choose uh, the, the place to save your group of pictures. Again, we're going to keep it at the default. It's called the My Pictures. That's where we want everything to save. Uh, so we're good to go. All we have to do now is hit Next. The computer is now scanning in that picture. There you go. That's the first picture. I'm done. We're going to click on uh, Back. We're back to the, uh, the preview screen where we can manipulate the uh, dotted black line and start scanning in our second picture. All right, we're going to repeat the process we did for the first picture. Um, just going to center up the second picture. We're going to hit next. We're going to save it into the file. Um, that's all there is to it. Okay, once we have both our pictures scanned, uh, remember we have them saved on our network file. You can go back to your own computer. You can go to your insert command, insert picture from file, and you'll be able to find these pictures in your uh, My Picture folder.
So good luck with your project. Uh, that's all there is to scanning.